Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Brace yourself for an earthquaking shock. Nothing you have ever seen, nothing you have ever felt could prepare you for this colossus of entertainment. The Double D. Oh man, we're back. Jeez, I, you know what was weird? Is we were off last week. I felt like we haven't been here in like a month. I, I definitely feel that way. Well, you have. <laughs> <been> I know. <laughs> it's a month. But like, I was here the week before, and I, I don't know, like, it was weird because I, I had moved, and I, had, I didn't even look at anything show-related for like five days. I, I mean, even when we're on break, I look at show stuff. You're out of your elements. So I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling weird. We got the, I got the new uh, in-home office built. Uh, I got to make some tweaks on it. I wasn't. I'm not comfortable with it, but nice. uh, it's um, it's it's coming together. So hope we'll, at, at some point we'll be able to do a broadcast either there or here. Nice. Uh, the only thing is the other studio is only like a three person studio or four person. There's a lot of meat in the studio. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of. A, well, not you know more, but you know other yeah, people. Are you talking about <laughs> a lot of meat? <laughs> <laughs> that came out wrong. Holy, sorry, that week really off, wrong. <laughs> I almost cracked 300. I'm at 300 right now. You Congratulations. Look like, congratulations. Yeah. That's awesome. You look like half the man you used to be. No, I, I got a long <laughs> way to go for that. Uh, welcome to the Double D Show. My name is T.O. Double D. Hanging out with me today in the co-pilot's chair is Vinny the Villain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Jack Splat's here on time again. Ooh, I was a little, it was a little he, close he makes, today. He cuts it close. Now I heard parking was was uh, rough out there. Today. Well, you know, when you when you texted me, what's your ETA? I was driving. I couldn't hit a red. I had every green light from my that's, house. That's to, good. So I was like, I don't even need to text him. So. <laughs> and then Tim's back. Hey, guys. It's well, uh, it's weird when everybody's not here because we're we're on such a nice rhythm when everybody's here and everything's fire. Everybody has like a piece yeah. to everything, and then when some of the pieces aren't here, it throws every the rhythm off completely. Like chipped ham, huh? <laughs> like like, like <laughs> chipped ham. <laughs> 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 All right, there you go. Like the meat. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He didn't get it, but we. It's did. like a hoagie right, without right. you know. It's a, it's an Italian hoagie without. We salami. got the bun, but no meat. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, it, we were on such a good rhythm with everybody here, and then with, when when guys aren't here, it throws everything off. Right. Well, we're going to get a good rhythm today. We're going to yeah, keep Jack's it going. Yeah, here, and uh, he's uh, he's going to bring it all together. I'll, you're I'll, the glue. You're, I'll, we're just going to change your name to Elmer's. Oh, uh, I'll pull out the slack for the other two that are missing. <laughs> <laughs> now we got a big uh, big announcement we have to make before we uh, before we do anything. I guess we okay. should. We should do that. And I, I, I can't. I was looking for something, and I can't find it. You can't find the big announcement. <laughs> yeah. well, I have the big announcement, but. Wait, okay. Hey, remember, you're the glue. Yeah, there you go. He's Here the helmet. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We got an announcement. Now, those of you on social media and following us know about it. Saturday, September 30th, right here at the Brookline Pub, Idiot Radio presents... Woofy comes home, stand-up comedy show with the headliner of the event and Brookline's own Matt Wolfarth, our buddy Matt Wolfarth yeah. that came in. Yeah. I'm excited for this. Oh, that's one funny dude. Um, it's a great show. He's gonna bring uh, he's gonna bring a bunch of comics with him. The host of the event is Michael Cohen. Uh, Jordan Moore is the, um, is gonna be here, and the feature for the event is Tyler Ray Kendrick. But also some of Matt's other like comedy buddies uh-huh. are going to be that aren't on the card are going to be showing up, which is going to be huge. So what are you right. going to have your uh, paper and pen? Hey, you know I'm a uh, T.O. Double D. Well, I've already reached out to the guys on the poster already. They come in to promote. Hey, you guys can come in and promote whatever you like. Yeah, come on in at the Brookline Pub. But yeah, so so Matt Wolfarth, we had a great time with Matt. Oh yeah. Um, when when that episode airs on the the stream, uh-huh. it gets a lot of views. Like that's probably one of the highest views. Uh, he killed it. He killed it. Is um, it me or I, he keep hearing something in the background going bling? Somebody's uh, somebody's messengers going off. Oh, okay. no, that's not me. Here, hold on. Oh shit, that was mine. Sorry. <laughs> oh my. Oh, no. 
We, we were kind of talking about the uh, comedy show and you. I'm sorry. I just didn't know if you had that in the background. <laughs> we're good now, Vinny. <laughs> we're getting it. <laughs> what is that? What, what is that? Oh, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, Vinny the Bear has just derailed the show. <laughs> I, I always know. I always knew he was a co- professional cocksucker. <laughs> I did that a little earlier than expected. <laughs> well, uh, nice. <laughs> So, yeah, Matt's bringing some of his comedy friends. Uh-huh, our uh-huh. big comedy show Saturday, September 30th. Um, it's our third one now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's huge. You can buy your tickets at idiotradio.net. Mm-hmm. And they're just $10. I was, yeah. $10. I lowered the price. We were going to go with a, a higher price. Or I lowered it to $10. And here's, the, here's what's pretty cool. Five dollars from every ticket sold will be donated to the Brookline Teen Outreach. Yes. Which is a local organization Fantastic a couple blocks cause. up the road. Um, they d- obviously do stuff with teens, and it's a nice facility. I toured it. I'm actually going to be working in the facility. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be teaching a uh, podcast class. <laughs> um, maybe I should take one first before I go there and teach it. But uh, I was going to ask about that, but I figured yeah, I'd let so, you bring it up before. You know. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. So, yeah, I'll be, do- I'll be doing uh, uh, a podcast class. You guys are welcome to come with me. Here, this is the, the button you push for the glass break on Vinny. Oh. <laughs> hey, Tim. <laughs> just saying. We'll, just, hey, teach hey, him, hey, we'll Tim. just teach him that real quick Dude, off the bat. No, no, Tim. See, see, <laughs> see, see <laughs> co-pilot. You see, <laughs> you're not totally <laughs> invested. I got a number love for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We, we have this comedy show. It's uh, Wolfie Comes Home, Matt Wolf, our, our good buddy. He's, uh, he's coming here. We're going to donate half our... Uh, half our uh, ticket money to the um, Brookline Teen Outreach. It's for a good cause. Yeah, absolutely. They need a lot of stuff. They need, like, TVs and video games and uh, stuff. You should see the we'll – I'll have to take you guys. None of you guys have issues, right? I can take you all. Well, no. with a, I know with Jack's job and Vinny's job and my job. And, well, I used to be a counselor for kids. Yeah, so yeah. we're all good. We all have Yeah, our, we're none of us we are pedophiles. We're good to get. <laughs> so we all can not. go there. <laughs> I, I had to turn in my um, – my clearances for baseball yeah so that i could go there and teach the class so i'm excited we're going to do more stuff with the community here in brookline and uh i mean you are well, you don't want to come don't you <laughs> well, I'm a vi- how can the villain be out there doing that I we can't. might have to rework this <laughs> the villain thing. hey but say they won't let the villain in the i will be building. there that show the whole night to party I'm not going to tell you why, but I'll be the part. What, for the uh, Isn't comedy it, It's his birthday, like the day or two before. I, and I, it's Brett Paradise's birthday. Oh, nice. Yeah. Your I birthday's mean, like the day before. You didn't it? have to tell everybody. But, I, I mean, so well, now you, the you surprise is over. Shit. We might sell 10 more tickets. That's right. You turn in 25, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But. Yeah, you don't so have something? You don't have something. Yeah. He, he, he broke, broke the broke glass. The glass. He, he broke the glass off. Is he, he allowed to, why, is he not allowed to go to the, to the uh, to teaching class either now? You know? he, you're all welcome <laughs> to come with me to teach the class. I just want to come see him teach the class. That's what I'm I just want pissed to. off he got de- derailment he got music <laughs> for me. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Asshole. I didn't do it. It was the production team. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I just got the memo from upstairs. That was the HR department. Yeah, they said the, the, um, our PD sent that to me. He said, "Here, anytime Vinny acts up, you just play this." I'm telling you. I'm, not, I'm telling you, I'm going to buy more shares. I'm going to put this. This shit's over with. Fuck Vinny. I always fuck with you, Vinny. You know that. that? He's king of cocksuckers, I'm telling you. Well, well that's what happens when you lose all kind of first, weight. Look at. Wouldn't be the first time I was called that. <laughs> Right. Fat Todd wouldn't have been like that, you know. That? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, eats a couple Slim Jims now. He doesn't know his own personality or uh, character anymore. All right, sucker. Sorry. Who is this? I got one for you. Catch me outside. Oh, oh that's get... Jack's girl. Oh, not that dumb bitch again. <laughs> that's Jack's oh, did, girl. Did you hear her song? I gave it away. I hit the wrong button. This is her song. I ain't like these hoes. Don't compare me to no one. Money green. Jack's mad. Wow. Isn't 
Isn't she like 15? Yeah. She's like dick rising? I mean, it's better than most rap songs <laughs> out right now. I'm not going to lie. The mumble rappers. But, uh, Jesus. Pretty much. Yeah. I hate that fucking bitch. Oh. <laughs> Dude, we, we, it's safe to say she won't be on Kids Bop. No. <laughs> right, right, right. Catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Sad part is that she's got more money than all of us put together. Now. I think that's why I hate her the most. <laughs> for doing nothing, for, for saying doing, something for stupid. Being an idiot. Why didn't Dr. Phil call me? I could have said something stupid like that. <laughs> We're I getting guess. it. Catch me outside, Dr. Phil. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting it. We're getting it. I'm, We're getting it. We're getting it. This week off has really messed me up. I, I just told Tim before the show, I just I don't feel, I feel off today. I feel... You know why? You're not getting enough food in your system. That's right. <laughs> on this st- stressful <laughs> diet. I had lunch when I got here during the Devro while I was producing the Devro. What did you eat? A handful yeah. of broccoli? Yeah. 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 I mean, a half a grilled, half, chi- half grilled chicken, grilled chicken with some pub sauce. Some tofu. And a, and a, and a potato with fries. <laughs> you are that. getting skinny, man. <laughs> uh, I'm, I had, when I started the diet, I had no belt loop, no belt on. I, I didn't have to wear these pants. Now I'm at like the third or fourth belt loop. There you Did go. Subway yeah. call yet? No, they didn't call. Not yet. <laughs> I, I would take the you know endorsement. Jared's in prison, so you I need know. a new face guy. And I, I don't like to diddle little boys, so I mean I'd be good for your company. They're trying to redo their image. <laughs> a little shout out to Subway. Subway, if you're listening. <laughs> well, Jack, I need you to do me a favor. All take right, your I'm headphones ready. off. Oh, here we go. Um, it's the it's the we're broadcasting live. If you're listening to us live, we're broadcasting. From our idiot radio studios, <laughs> 734 Brookline Boulevard. Bing. Um, it's Sunday. Yes, but it if, for all intents and purposes, this is a Monday podcast. Right. Um, so, yeah, it's Monday. When you come in on Monday and you're not feeling real well, does anyone ever say to you, sounds like someone has a case of the Mondays? Shit, no, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying so about that, man. Yeah, today's Monday. No, sir. No, today's Monday. No, Saturday. No, I'm sorry. Today's Monday. What day is it? Monday? Oh, Monday. Thank God it's Monday. You're the only moron in the whole world who actually likes Monday. Have a super awesome day of positivity. Fuck off. Well, okay, Jack, you can put your headphones back on. I'm good. Thank God you okay. told me to do that because if I had to hear that plus a- that and dumb catch and me outside, <laughs> <laughs> I might have just left the window. You might have left. We're already short staffed <laughs> yeah. today. We need you here. So, um, yeah, it's Monday, and uh, on today's show, we're going to talk about some idiot that sits on a beehive. Oh. Jack. I mean, Tim, I almost said Jack. <laughs> Would you do that? Would you send a beehive? No, no. If, what if we got like $1,000? Yeah, to then it? probably I would. You would? <laughs> All right, now let's start the GoFundMe. Vinny gets right. cra- get cracking on that. We'll do GoFundMe. We got to get we're, Mel here yeah. the nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Mel the nurse here to patch up his ass when we're done. Uh, we're going to start the GoFundMe to get $1,000. So Tim will sit on a beehive. Yep, I'll do it then. All right. Um, at a wedding, the best man trolls the groom in the best way possible. Um, did you ever get so scared of the movie that you shit your pants? No. Um, this happened. And I, I guess for this movie series, it's happened a few times, like, that people, like, freak out. It, it wasn't the first time in the movie series. Um, a guy pees in a strange place. Uh, best way to smuggle booze. Nice. I mean, Didn't at least it was a, it was a, it was a good way. They, they, they didn't they weren't successful, but um, you know, it was a good idea. I think it's on paper. A for effort. Yeah, that's what you, <laughs> what you said. Um, we're gonna take our first break, and when we come back, we're gonna talk about Burger King did a promotion last week with with Whoppers. Oh, now um, we're talking. Okay. Yeah, but none of us really would have been eligible. Uh, there's a new Texas law that took an effect. Um, Michael Jackson's birthday was this past week. Yeah. Yes, yes. yeah. Uh-huh. Rest in peace, MJ. Yeah, he right. did Thriller. So the real question that was that's really been bugging me, what's Bubbles been up to in yeah, all this time that uh, Bubbles the Chimp? Yeah. Well, hope uh, they don't send him to the Pittsburgh Zoo. No. <laughs> Everything's done. <laughs> They're dropping there. like flies over there. Man. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Keyshawn Johnson, He's uh, he gets my vote for dad of the year. He's uh, he's uh, did a lot of positive things with his son mm-hmm. and his son was kind of acting up and he uh he Todd, took do you care know who Keyshawn Johnson is yeah who is he he's a wide receiver 
pretty retired and no now he's an ESPN analyst. Yeah. Right. All right, all right. I, he played for Tampa, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Okay. I'm not a dummy. Well, wait, I, I know yeah. sports. I, Jesus. I'm not, I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. Bling. <laughs> or t- Tim didn't say anything. Why would I hit the ding button? Anyway, <laughs> he's just don't get me. You see what I go that's through. Why I don't, that's why I don't ride co-pilot. That's uh, I, I did it one time. Never asked me back. Yeah. Terrible. I don't terrible. I just need somebody to answer the phone. Really. That's hey, it. Thank God the one time I did it, nobody called, so I didn't. I couldn't fuck up. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll take our break, and we'll be back right after this. Hey, it's T.O. Double D and Vinny. We just got done with a big, important meeting, Vin, with big clients. Yes, sir. And we decided to do it in a unique way. We did it a food, food truck meeting, which I think is a big trend right now, right? Oh, it's a very big trend right now, and everybody wants to jump on board. And we called our friends at Spiels on Wheels, and I had an awesome uh, Philly cheesesteak wrap. And I had the Reuben wrap. And I also had the Budweiser cheese toss. They were amazing. <laughs> You can have one of these events for yourself. Just got to give our friends at Spiels on Wheels food truck and catering a call. The phone number is 724-244-9881. You can hit them up on Facebook at Spiels on Dot Wheels. For all your heating and cooling needs, service and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Looking for a great place to have your next party or celebration? Exposure Gentlemen's Club, 288 Clearfield Pike, Catanning, PA, is a great place to have guys or girls night out, birthday, divorce, and bachelor party. For details about private VIP party rooms and group rates. Call 724-548-8730 or visit clubexposure.com. Come by yourself or with a group and have a night out you deserve. Energy Angel Solution Alternative Healing Services. Do you need some relaxation in your life? Is your mind feeling sluggish? Does your body hurt? Have you been feeling off balance and just not centered lately? Energy Angel Solutions LLC offers healing that considers the energy of the whole person body, mind, and energy for optimal health and wellness. For more information, visit our website at energyangelsolutions.com. We're back. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm still not used to this board. I have to, like, twist and, like, if it was right in front of me, I guess it would be a little bit easier to work. Yeah. But uh, the way the table is set up, it's, I'm not liking it too much. Well, you're so skinny now. You should be able to oh, turn yeah. quicker. And <laughs> I'm still 300 pounds. Be a lot more That's mobile. That's fucking huge. Um, you're how much? Three hundred. I lost fifty three pounds in nine weeks. Well, I mean, hell, that's an accomplishment. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's a couple good poops. <laughs> <laughs> when you're over three hundred pounds, you can actually get your ass on a Mister Twister board. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm I gotta, I gotta do a lot. I gotta do some exercise. Cause right hand, left. <laughs> you know how right. like fat guys have their belly, and then that area above their dick gets fat. Yeah. Well, that's losing weight. So now it looks like I have balls on top of my butt dick and on the, below my dick. <laughs> looks like I got two sets of balls now. That's really unnecessary. I don't but it's to... true. <laughs> it's, Shit we it's hear about his anatomy it's true, sometimes. But yeah. it's true. It is true. You got fucking one of them cave. So it looks man. like I have two sets of balls. <laughs> right. Got one of them fucking cave pouches hiding his dick. Uh-huh. That's running away from the it. The fanny pack. <laughs> because, because it's not, it's not filled with. It's lo- that's the area that's losing fat. So that area is like I don't know. A little I saggy. I don't want to talk about my dick anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's a short story. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> This is Jim Crane listening to the Double D Show and Idiot Radio. I love these guys. <laughs> what, what? I don't know. That's probably why it doesn't come back. Um, so Burger King was doing this cool thing this week. If you get fired from your job, and now it's, I think it's over. I think it ended on Friday. If you've been fired from your job, uh, you can have it your way at Burger King. Uh, the premise of the fast foods promotion is uh, it's called Whopper Severance. Uh, Burger King will give away 
2,500 free Whoppers. It ended on September 1st. I just, I just seen in the ad. Okay. Um, also offers the first 100 entrants a 30-minute session with an online career builder called uh, Muse. Uh, the Burger King spokesperson said, we know getting fired sucks, but getting a free Whopper doesn't. Makes so, sense. So you get an interview and a free Whopper. Well, they, they give you the website Muse gives you, like, coaching on uh, better skills to get a job, okay. like an interview, <laughs> resume building. And then you get to eat a Whopper on top of it. Yeah, and you get a free Whopper. <laughs> so you're, you got your suit on, you get your Whopper, you spill ketchup on the tie, and you're sitting there going to interview with fucking... <laughs> I wonder how unemployment takes that. <laughs> According, they, yeah. They just don't answer like they always do. <laughs> right. Think about it. You know, they'll chase you down over a job search to make sure you're searching for jobs. Uh-huh. Does that qualify? Right. Yeah. The king said it would. <laughs> According to terms of the deal, you must publicly announce you've been fired on like, like it in. Like it in, yeah. Like it in? That's... <laughs> That's I don't I don't have a does anybody here at this table have one of those accounts? No, I don't. That's for like accountants and lawyers and shit. Like real real professionals. Is. Yeah. It's like Facebook for professionals. Yeah. For like people with real jobs. <laughs> um, use uh, hashtag Whopper Severance when telling your story. There is a pre written statement available on the site that will automatically post to your liking in. Hashtag Whopper Severance message will appear on your liking. Uh, am I saying that right? That's, that's like it sounds like way too much work for a free Whopper. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'll you just got time because you don't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but if you're like, like on a high profile job, who the fuck wants a Whopper? Yeah, yeah. they and want why, filet mignon. If you're high, something. why would you post that on your on your profile? Hi, yeah. my name's John. I'm a lawyer. I got fired from my firm. Now I'm at Burger King, ready to get a free Whopper. And if anybody else is interested in hiring me, please contact Mike it <laughs> Or like it in, sorry. Like it in, my fault. I was like, what? And if I get sick, I'm going to file a lawsuit yeah. against them. Viking is the reason so, I got fired. <laughs> so I la- took too many Viking in. That's why I got fired. <laughs> the last step is you uh, you got to claim your package and get your... You claim it... Um, and then you get your, they send you a free certificate. I don't know. It wow. sounds like it does sound like a lot. Wait a minute! They work. send you a free certificate for a Whopper, right? So you don't even get it that day? No. Oh fuck that! I'll just take my unemployment and go home. Fuck yeah. it! I'll pay the three bucks for the Whopper. Who cares? Get the meal for five. Get the double Whopper. Can you meal. imagine what's going through the guy's head that's interviewing you? Yeah. This guy just wants a Whopper. <laughs> hey, <laughs> sir, you good. sound pretty good. I'm hiring you. Huh. The fuck is so then day you get I'm hired the no same pickle. day. Are you still eligible for your Whopper? Yeah. Can I get no uh, no onion on the Whopper, please? <laughs> uh, Texas will be allowed to. Uh, they passed a new law this week, and you are now allowed to carry uh, swords. Whoa! Openly, when uh, okay, <laughs> why not? <laughs> like a, like a he man just walking down the street. Residents are allowed to have blades um, longer than five point five inches. Holy fuck! Um, it comes into effect in addition uh, to swords. Um, adults in the Lone Star State will be allowed to carry spears, Jesus. bow knives, daggers, <laughs> throwing knives. Would that be ninja stars? Who, who thought this was a good idea? And machetes in public. Wow. But you're not allowed to carry them everywhere. Swords <laughs> will be banned from bars, oh, damn. schools, polling, area, polling places, um, secure areas such as airports, Racetracks, most sporting events, prisons, hospitals, amusement parks, and places of religious worship. But you can take it in the bank. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, right? right? Yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, you can. Come walking in there with a big sore hanger from the back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Talking about, I want that loan. <laughs> You know, there'd be some jackass with chain mail on, like he's wow. walking around like Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> she got the machete. He puts it down on the table. I want this loan. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, shit. Approved. <laughs> wow. Um, bubble. Uh, Michael Jackson's birthday was uh, this week, and I was saying I always wonder, like, what's going on with Bubbles? Yeah. He's in like a, a chimp sanctuary or something. He's probably hiding after what happened to Harambe. I don't know. Or what happened to him know. with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, sorry about that. No, I was hitting that on Tim. Uh. He made a joke. Harambe's my boy. No, I don't know. Whatever. But uh, Bubbles is um, Michael Jackson's 
former pet chimp, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Did he sell him before he died? Well, he, he put him in a um, an animal sanctuary. So the IRS yeah. wouldn't take him. I thought his sister took him there for a minute, too, didn't well, she? Well, the sister went to visit him. Yeah. And oh, like, that's Animal right. Animal Planet did that's like right. a, like, that's I think right. it was LaToya went yeah, to was. visit him. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yep. And they strange. did like a big uh, <laughs> story on Animal Planet. And that, that Planet chimp wanted nothing to do with he her. no idea No, no idea. <laughs> He was I remember like a guy that used to fuck me in the ass. I remember, yeah, I remember watching that. Um, She's a weird one anyway. Oh, yeah. So, I guess Bubbles is becoming a celebrity in his own right. Okay. Uh, he's in a, a my, he's a, he's big in the Miami art scene. He's doing, like, paintings and stuff. Wow. Um, he's a fucking chip. They're selling paintings made by Bubbles and other apes at the Florida Center for Great Apes are being sold through an art show, and the proceeds are funding the facility, I guess, to keep it open. Let me tell you something. If there's any rich people in Miami listening, I got some art for you to sell right here. Come on. <laughs> All right? Goddamn well, monkeys. Finger paint. Finger. Uh, woo, woo, woo. Fucking shit and everything. We should do a, we should do a contest. <laughs> that's that's paint with a twist on that. Well, I was, there, you kind of st- stole my thunder. We'd do like a painting oh, with a twist. No, it was a good thing. Um, painting with a twist will have dudes come in, uh-huh. and they have to tape. Um, paintbrushes to their junk and paint paintings. Nice with their junk. No, I could, I could do like a self-portrait. We're not. We're, who's going to judge who's who's gonna, this contest? Yeah, yeah. Vinny is going. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not all on board with that. With no, that? no. I do know somebody who might. Or we could do yeah. win, lose, or draw, but you have to use your penis to draw with. <laughs> You've been no. thinking a lot, I see. <laughs> and you're going down the wrong street. You're not even the same, same time we're in. You know, you're <laughs> all, all you're on the wrong side of time. We're on this side. He's on the other side. Yeah. All of a sudden, he can see his junk. Now yeah. he wants now to he paint wants, with it. Now he wants to paint with it and see. play fucking, you know, I win, lose, or draw. I still can't see it. I'm going to need Don't a worry. paint roller or paint sprayer, one of the two. Don't worry, uh, uh, you still can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I was talking about Keyshawn Johnson, how he um, he could possibly be father of the year. He um, His son plays for Nebraska, plays football. Mm-hmm. And um, the former number one draft pick and current ESPN analyst, Keyshawn Johnson, pulled his son, Keyshawn Jr., out of the University of Nebraska to take an extended leave of absence. Now, because that's Keyshawn Johnson's son, he gets to have an extended leave of absence. Anybody else, they'd be like, fuck you, we'll just fill the spot. Right, exactly. Right, Jack? Oh. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, yeah, so he's getting this leave of absence. The four-star wide receiver came to Nebraska a semester early. I guess he graduated high school early. Okay. And he came there, and uh, he struggled in the spring game. He only got, like, one catch for, like, seven yards. But then he's had some struggles off the field with, like, um, in a marijuana pres- uh, possession charge in his oh, dorm. Oh, uh, boy. Um, less than two weeks after the spring game. and So Keyshawn Sr. said um, he pulled him. from. Yeah. The, he said, um, one thing you will not do as my son is uh, you will not embarrass Nebraska, you will not embarrass Mike Riley, and you will not embarrass this family. Right. So, good, good. Good for yeah. him. Yeah. But because he's Keyshawn's son, he gets right. the second chance. Anybody yeah. else would have leave been leave absence. <laughs> so that's good though. I mean, I like. But I that. guess Keyshawn played for uh, who? Where did Keyshawn play? USC. USC. Yeah. He yeah. played for Riley at Q- USC. Mm-hmm. The University of South Central Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess they have a, a pretty big relationship, and yeah, I don't know. But I mean, it's it's good because normally you'd see it, you know the way parents are with kids today. They're entitled. I you guess know, not my kid. AD, addictive uh, reserves. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hey, good job, Vinny. <laughs> good job, Vinny. Good job. Good job. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. I'm on your side. <laughs> Don't forget it. <laughs> hey, hey, Tim. <laughs> Everybody gangs up on you all the time, Vinny. I'm always on your side. Don't forget. <laughs> it's me and you against the rest of these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> we will win. <laughs> That's a promise. You got to lose a battle to win the war sometimes. You know what I mean? Sure. All right. Okay, I got it. Uh, right, let's <laughs> Play, the Play the train. Play the train. Let's take a break. Uh, did you ever watch a movie where you literally shit your pants? I have not. Um, I shit my pants sometimes, not even watch a movie. <laughs> <laughs> right, me too. On my way home from work sometimes. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you bend over, get up too fast. Hey, yeah, it's, it's it happens. happens. I think it happened yesterday. I it farted ha- at work when on. It happens shit. to the best of us. <laughs> yep. Questionable fart every now and then. Tossed in the wear and keep it strolling. There you go. 
I had. Sit in the elevator and go, what's that smell? Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> you blame it on somebody else. All right, so the movie thing. And then uh, a guy in a shitty situation gets kicked out of a casino. A guy, uh, a guy pees in a really weird place and gets in trouble for it. And the new way to smuggle booze. It's the Double D Show. We're broadcasting live from our Idiot Radio studios. Uh, home of the, the Woofy Comes Home comedy special. Nice. A comedy show. Yeah. It sounds better special. as a special, but it's not special. I, I think thought, I thought like HBO was coming. Yeah, they might. <laughs> <laughs> um, right here, September 30th, 8 o'clock. Tickets are just $10. Buy them at idiotradio.net. Uh, Vinny's here. Jack Splat's here. Tim's here. And hey. my name is T.O. Double D. And we'll be back. Right after this. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881. Or on Facebook at facebook.com slash spielson.wheels. Does your dog or cat need some much-needed attention and pampering? Money Paws, full grooming salon for dogs and cats. Featuring full-service dog and cat grooming. Bath and brush, haircuts, nails, ears, teeth, and rear-end cleanup. All done with extra love and attention. It's Money Paws. Schedule an appointment today at 412-207-8250. Energy Angel Solution, alternative healing services. Do you need some relaxation in your life? Is your mind feeling sluggish? Does your body hurt? Have you been feeling off balanced and just not centered lately? Energy Angel Solutions LLC offers healing that considers the energy of the whole person body, mind, and energy for optimal health and wellness. For more information, visit our website at energyangelsolutions.com. Pizza and Gyro Express, 801 O'Neill Boulevard in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. For menus, coupons, specials, and catering info, visit our website at pizzaandgyroexpress.com. Order online or by phone at 412-672-2182. Don't forget about the lunch buffet and drink every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. for just $10. The original Pizza and Gyro Express. Don't settle for anything less. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. Who's getting a hoagie? I'm hungry. We're Fuck. getting it. <laughs> Sandwich day. $5 oh. right here. Oh, you can't beat Look it. Look at this. Oh, if you could awful. see that, boy, you just... What are you doing, Vinny? That looked pretty good. I'm trying to make it rain. <laughs> I think he wanted the beer. That was his beer dance. <laughs> ah, he, he wanted the ladies to get him a beer. And it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me try that real quick. Because I need one, too. Uh, okay. You're uh, you're going to dance for the late. Okay. Jack needs a beer. He's dance. Jack that dance. rhythm is hurting, buddy. <laughs> I, can, I gonna, look really white there, didn't I? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie. Little bit. I'm going to masturbate bit. to that later. <laughs> Whatever gets you off the touchdown. <laughs> touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, did you say touchdown? <laughs> oh, wow. You want to go there? <laughs> and I actually on the Anytime line, I had people asking for that. Hey, when you guys come back, are you going to play the uh, TJ's mom's call? <laughs> so I guess we could go there. I guess if I had. I don't know what's going on with my. Oh, here it is. I was like, I was ready to flip out and have a meltdown because I couldn't find the file. I guess it's the progression. Hi guys, team. this is Mark. Um, first time caller. This is Mark. Uh, love the show. I also really love. Um, I really have this. Um, really like um, this this certain person on your show, and I didn't know if I could bring it up, but um, TJ's mom. Uh, she calls <laughs> in every once in a while, and her voice. Uh, where I like to see her um, <laughs> uh, more more part of the show. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she gets me going. Maybe you could tell her about me <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, that just said that voice Who is just, does this? just exactly. smooth and sensual. It's it just it's amazing. Oh. Yeah. That clock's ticking really fast. And, uh, um, <laughs> I love 60 it. Minutes. Yeah, just, yeah, just uh, uh, sixty I seconds. I like her. Uh, uh, 
Touchdown. <laughs> Touch, I, I, nice. I've been, we've been off. Oh, yeah. So I haven't been saying it as much. But, like, I swear, like, that whole week afterwards, everything that happened. Touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you your little boy said it, too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. And now football season's back. Yeah. I say it yeah. all the time. I'm disappointed I had to cancel our tailgate. Uh, we'll have to uh, reschedule that. I have a family function I, I was unaware of uh-uh. that week. Oh, is that, so, oh, I missed that one. I didn't even was know it was canceled. Is that a function called moving? No, I already moved. I oh, moved okay. last week. What? Hey, man, I, I lose track of the shit you do. Yeah, you know. Well, I, I'm glad that you're keeping up. <laughs> I'm not gonna I mean, somebody up. cares. Yeah. So. Paying attention. Good, thanks. Man. I know it's you paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idiot radio sponsor over there. Look, he got a, he got the idiot radio underwear on. He's, <laughs> a spokes, he's a spokes model. That's right. All right, so with the president. That's the yeah. w- double D's right hand man right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, haven't two. Seen, I haven't seen Tim in a month. Yeah, pretty I much. Didn't even t- I used to talk to him a couple times a week, and I, I, I had to, we had to catch up before the show. I didn't, we did. didn't know all kind of stuff was. G- Fat Todd like, would have called. <laughs> I do call. <laughs> <laughs> I do call. Loses all that weight, he don't know how to call nobody. Skinny motherfucker. Uh. <laughs> no class. No class. <laughs> Uh, it's been, it's from been a wild month for me. We got a um, call on the line here. Let's. Uh, uh oh. Did Vinny answer it? Um. Yeah. He 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 got okay. it right. Good, Good job, Vinny. Good yeah. job. Good job, Vinny. Way to right. screen him. I turned so, my mic off. <laughs> I, I'm gonna um. I'm gonna go to the line right now. All right. Caller, you on the air? T double D. Oh. <laughs> is this who I think what? it is? Oh, yeah, this is me. This is McDonald's, McDonald's guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's Jack up, buddy? Black. Hey, Jack Splat. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for using that grapefruit the other night. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I love grapefruiting now. He's going to twist up and down on his shaft and suck the head at the same time. <laughs> Remember I back in the bathroom stall? <laughs> you did what? I bent him over to bat in the bathroom sink. <laughs> you gave him a reach oh, around, huh? Yippers. You, where I where did you do that? I ponded him. <laughs> where, where at? McDonald's on West Mix Liberty. Excuse me, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> nice. Jack, you t- come down for the special you're sauce. Taking my, uh, you're taking my guy from me? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You know. <laughs> I went in for a Big Mac, got the whole special. <laughs> you got the special sauce on the side. Oh, yeah. You should have went after the Whopper. You got the value meal. <laughs> State of Burger King of Safer. Got a Whopper, all right. <laughs> got a Whopper. He took that Whopper with ease. <laughs> <laughs> you got the big nuggets. I didn't know you, you didn't come in for a week, and uh, I didn't know. That's why I wasn't I, here last I, week. Fantasy football, <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> New code word for McDonald's meetings. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you d- have you been meeting with anybody else from the show besides Jack? I'm afraid to oh, ask. You know, me, and, me and Big Mike up the best, though. <laughs> <laughs> he, sure, he sure knows a lot about us. <laughs> I know. I'm kind of jealous that you're giving all your uh, special sauce to the other guys on this show. <laughs> oh, you've been, you've been awful busy. I feel left out. <laughs> Well, you're you're a busy guy. And, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you're pr- you're probably out of my league. Now. He lost all that weight now. He's losing weight and everything. <laughs> yeah, you know? he's out of my league. <laughs> I, I, I always love love for you, McDonald's guy. You're my you're my you're my boo. No, I'll still stick it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, milkshake, huh? <laughs> hey, bro. He don't go to McDonald's no more. It's Subway, bro. Subway. I haven't been to McDonald's in like nine. I know. He <laughs> lost so long. much weight. I was so mad. It's harder seen, to catch. I seen McDonald's has two for five Big Macs now. I'm like, fuck. I would have got four of them on the way home from work. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't eat them. You like that teriyaki, like, don't you? Uh, I like you like the meat, though. You like yeah, the meat. Yeah, I can. I, I was, we got pizza for when, moving day. What, you get a like, vegetarian no, pizza? I, I, I was like, fuck it, I'm eating pizza. I was going to wait until I'm under 300. I still got a pound to go. But I was like, fuck it, I'm eating pizza. We're moving. I was, it was like an orgasmic experience. Did like, you go to the bathroom? Oh, with- <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> you don't realize. 
You don't realize that I live across the street from you. You're my neighbor. And I had an orgasmic <laughs> you uh, orgasm all day watching you move all the boxes. Steps. You watch me work in the front yard, rebuilding the steps. Oh. I'll make, I'll make sure I take, take my shirt off <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> Wear a thong oh, oh. and hang it out. Oh, gee. Oh, you might get raped. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not rape if, you're, if the other participant's willing, sir. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I like man boobs. So. <laughs> well, they're, they're, I'm an A cop now. I'm not. I'm not a D anymore. That's nah, right. I'm just kidding. I'm still a C. <laughs> well, I say, what kind of weight were you losing, motherfucker? <laughs> no, I noticed uh, the more weight I lose, um, the little pouch. Hey, big Mike. Uh, he's Is that not. Big Mike? He's not here today. Uh, oh, he I thought he was avoiding me. <laughs> no, he, he's uh, he's not here today. I've really been having a good time up the Vasto with him. Uh, he he. I think he's at McDonald's looking for you. <laughs> no, I'll meet him any day. <laughs> big, big chocolate man. He's the great cookout, ain't he? <laughs> what are you doing right. in the background, man? Are you all right? Are you uh, gonna... All right. We better, <laughs> we better go. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, oh, uh, we'll, we'll see you later, McDonald's Jack, guy. Jack, <laughs> it's like a weird Jack, turn. Jack. Oh. <laughs> I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up. I want to stay, but I'm hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker's scary. <laughs> what the hell's up with people jerking off on the show? All the time. Just to hear your voice. We must, do we have sexy voices? I, I guess I guess. Nah, we I don't do. know. Well, you, you got to remember, it started when you said you were you were no longer a D-cop. Yeah. And then you said, oh, oh, shit, I'm a C. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, Jack. Got a new friend, huh? You're cheating on me with McDonald's guy. <laughs> McDonald's guy's cheating on me with you, I guess. <laughs> Dude, you go to McDonald's one time on West Liberty. I was there last week, too. The part. You stay off that fucking site about them getting them Whoppers you want. That <laughs> oh, so I was talking about um, a video from uh, Brazil started cir- circulating around uh, social media last week. A woman is shown screaming on the floor after walking out of an Annabelle creation screening. While two of her friends try to calm her down, the situation was much more serious, though, as the person reportedly started to punch herself in the face, <laughs> and it is rumored, it is not confirmed, that she did shit her pants. What was this for? The Annabelle Creations. What the fuck uh-huh. is that? That's you know, a second Annabelle, isn't yes, it? Yes, the movie. Yeah, but the first, it's actually like the third movie in the series, The Conjuring. Oh, really? Was the first Is movie. Is that the doll one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that doll is fucking creepy. Yeah, looking. but you know the real doll, the real Annabelle, is it doesn't isn't creepy looking. No, it's a raggedy Ann doll. It's a raggedy Ann doll. Yeah, right? That's like Andal. fucking Tim Mr. knows. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Buddy hey, went Tim. down. Huh. Thank Mr. You. Buddy went down after they had that child's play. Remember when Chucky mm-hmm. came? Poor yeah. Mr. Buddy. Was... <laughs> yeah, I had that. Not my buddy. I had um. His he was a, called a Joey doll. It was like an early inclination of. Uh, is, oh, was it my buddy? I my thought it was buddy. Mr. Buddy. No, my, my buddy was the monster. Yeah, remember this song, yeah, my the monster. Buddy. Fuck that my motherfucker. Buddy. And then uh, there Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin's making a comeback. Oh, so are you kidding? Is me? he digital now? He, no, he, no, he's making. He I don't still know if he's a, digital. He had a cassette in the in yeah. back. So I don't know if he's digital, but he, I know he's making a comeback. You wonder if he hooks up to your phone or oh, something? Oh, he ain't got Probably. that. He just streams now, baby. Just stream off of Teddy Ruxpin. What's one was that? Bluetooth. Oh, he he was the teddy bear that had his. He talked, but he had a tape deck in his yeah, back. Yeah, you hit play. Oh yeah, his mouth would move and sing. Yeah, you know what he can do now. He just yeah, got to find a hot spot. Yep. <laughs> find hook me up to your Wi-Fi network, and we can talk all night. <laughs> Did you really? find it? No. Um. This um. But yeah, that lady. So she might have shit herself. And I guess this isn't the first time people come running out of those movies. Screaming and punching themselves. I, I might be out on a limb here, but I'm thinking that lady had a little uh, problems before she saw the movie. Fuck that movie. You'll yeah. never see me in any of that shit. Yeah, I ain't going. I, I think she's just off her chain. Same with them haunted house shit. I ain't going no fucking well, No black, haunted man. house? Oh, I'll, no. beat her. I'll beat her all day. I'm black, I'm black, man. Fuck. We don't do shit. Well, I love that. scary movies. I, I love scared. scary fuck. movies. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I'm not a, I, I don't like horror movies. I, I mean, that's not my go-to, but... um. You know, the, the future misses that so she likes those movies. Oh, uh, so you like she them. She won't then. watch it. No, I just don't. I'll watch them, but I don't. She'll only watch them in the daytime, though. She won't yeah. watch them at night. She, like, believes in that shit, like, uh, money and stuff. And, nah, that's the best yeah. time to watch them is late at night. That's bullshit. He, all alone. Fuck you that. Remember, you got to lay with that chick, too, man. <laughs> smack the shit out of she, you. I'd laugh if she went out of the movie screaming at 
shit herself. You know what was funny? <laughs> while, while we're talking, that would be. I, that would probably turn me on. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, she. It was funny. We were moving, and I could tell like we're on the same wavelength because uh, we were moving, and, and Chubby Chocolate was with us. Uh-huh. He was helping move, and um, we were in the truck. And it's so funny when I'm in the yard, no neighbors come over and talk to me. None. <laughs> Nobody comes near me. Uh-huh. But she's in the yard. They all flock over. They all, and it's always the husbands that come uh-huh, over. I wonder course. why. Uh-huh. I'm going to tell you right now, Todd, if I was your neighbor and your your fiance or whatever she was in the yard, I'd go talk to her. <laughs> I wouldn't talk to you. That's a compliment, I guess. <laughs> um, what was funny is I kept telling Chubby Chalk, I'm like, hey, go over there and introduce yourself as her fiance. Flip the neighbors <laughs> out. <laughs> My flip, neighbors all old people. Flip the like, script nice. in Baldwin. <laughs> well, why would it, why would guys care about you anyway? Because yeah. you, they know McDonald's man is a yeah. guy across he's the across the street. The street. Yeah, he's the street. The, the house across the street didn't sell; <laughs> just get <gets> sold. <laughs> so I mean, he might be telling the truth. I don't know. <laughs> He'll be getting McNuggets lift up on his porch every right. night. <laughs> <laughs> little, little, st- little nuggets in my shoes. A little <laughs> little <laughs> special sauce just for Todd. <laughs> One of those Ronald McDonald buses <laughs> come pulling up. Oh, yeah. Ronald, Ronald comes out with his makeup on. Use McDonald napkins in the yard. What, I'd love to know what that guy looks like. Who, Ronald McDonald? No, the oh, McDonald's that guy. guy. He sounds like, I don't want to. He sounds like a creep. Oh, Todd. <laughs> oh, Jack's uh, hey, Jack. Jack. How you doing? You were in the bathroom. And then you were in the sink. And I gave you a Whopper in the sink and McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> while, you so, were, while you were playing with your McNuggets. <laughs> So this uh, this guy in uh, I think it's Cincinnati, Ohio, where our buddy Keith Chris is from. Yeah, relax. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> uh, he's accused of uh, pooping himself. Okay. Is that really a crime? And they kicked him out of the casino. Yeah. Why? But I guess there's more to the story. What was he playing? I guess there's I don't craps craps. Oh, craps. <laughs> <laughs> you got that one right up, uh, boy. Uh, I was on it. That was, who, who did it? Who did it? <laughs> Oh, Tim. Tim's the first man. <laughs> that was good, Jack. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> you knew it was going to right, right, right hand yeah. man. Jack. Hey. Well, if you did it. I would have done. Jack set it up, man. I had to go there. I think Tim off the show too. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get in good. That's you right. Gotta get, you got to get man. the things in. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the here's the poop guy in the casino. Yeah, the customer says he got over here at Jack Casino around 4 a.m. He said he felt humiliated by the staff when he was questioned about pooping in his pants. It's fair to say this guy, who asked us not to use his last name, had a real crappy day when he visited Jack Casino uh-huh. early this morning. Oh, I get it. Tyler tells me while playing poker. The casino had a $1,000 giveaway, which he her. won twice. He won the 1000 twice? he waited twice? to enter the contest for a third time, he had to go to the bathroom. He tells me he was in there for less than a minute. When he came out, he said he was confronted by security. Before I get to my seat, um, he get he sir 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 sir, and he brings me over and he brings me over to him and he said, uh, um, uh, did, did you have an, did you have an accident in the bathroom? The casino alleges that Tyler was seen by three customers discarding his underwear after pooping in them. Casino released a statement. Why did you show them his underwear? Jack Cincinnati yeah. Casino's top priority is to continuously provide a clean and sanitary environment to the three million guests that visit the property annually. So I asked Tyler a simple question: Did he poop in his pants? No. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Hell no. Tyler Hell told no. us he thinks he got the boot because they didn't want him to win any more money. So they claimed he had a poop stain on his pants. Yeah. I, could, I just like the way the guy says poop. <laughs> he, he made it a point to say poop a, a lot, lot of times. Lot. There was a poop stain But there's on like his a pants. couple of things you could punch holes in here. Like if they said he threw his underwear out, all they had to do is say, sir, do you have underwear on and sh- have him show them. Or, or where do you well, throw maybe, he, at? maybe he don't wear underwear. And then also, also, are you a boxer briefs or guy? Or? I am. I'm, I'm a, a boxer. boxer. Uh, I like boxers, but I, I got to get tidy whities because my balls, I keep, my balls keep getting in the way. I'm boxer briefs all the way. Yeah. Boxer briefs. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to masturbate to that, there too. Well, now we know all of our underwear type. What do you like, Vinny? <laughs> Boxer, Vinny, brace, or both? Vinny's a tidy whitey guy. Vinny's an underoos guy. I bet he has Aquaman underoos on right now. <laughs> 
You really believe that? <laughs> <laughs> my, my fantasy, yeah. No? You see what happens when McDonald's guy does certain things to you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't But um, <laughs> why wouldn't face. they want him to uh, stay there and lose the money that he won? Why would they kick him out? So I don't know. I mean, most casinos, if you win, eventually you're going to lo- give yeah, some of it back. Spend right. some back. I mean, I'm not a casino guy, but I don't know. I I would, you would think they would want you to be there. Yeah, I mean, I, that's why they comp rooms and stuff because yeah. they want you there as long as you all can. Because chances are you're going to lose more right. than you win. I've gone to a lot of casinos and lost a lot, lost a lot of money, <laughs> but I've never shit my pants in the fucking process. So I'm thinking he really did shit his pants. He probably so did. what? So fucking cleaned them up, threw them in the... He, he, had the, he went to brown town. Ain't like, ain't, like he, <laughs> ain't like he threw them on the table or right. something. You know what yeah. I mean? Nah, nah. Fuck. Get he went in, there, cleaned himself water. up. Yeah. yeah. Came Press back out. his dumb ass and bring him back. I don't know. I don't see a problem with it. Me neither. So uh, last week at uh, authorities at Southwell Horse Track in... Uh, Nottinghamshire, England, reportedly caught an attendee trying to smuggle an 11-ounce bottle of vodka into the venue uh-huh. through a sandwich. Through a sandwich? It was on The sandwich was on Twitter. It was all wrapped in salami and stuff. This is the hoagie, yeah. And um, what threw them off, I mean, what, what grew suspicion was the sandwich was so heavy. Ah, I mean, she probably shouldn't have put a full bottle of vodka. I like a lot of meat on my sandwich. <laughs> so that's why I threw it off. But it was, it was genius because you couldn't see. She had the salami wrapped around the nice. vodka and all that. So I don't know. That's a good idea. Where is that a try? racetrack? Yeah, in England. Should have been better off if she had pastrami. Notting- <laughs> Nottingham Shower. Nottingham Showers in, in Landover, England. <laughs> oh, no. I was going to go with an accent. It was, it was coming out. It was, it was supposed to be English. It was coming out Indian. Oh, it would, brother, you want to slurp me? It would no, have been wait. No, you're, you're not just talking about brother. No. All right. We, cut it out. Just we're going out. to do, to take a break. I think. <laughs> I'm thinking that, man. You know we can do it. You get the slurpy? Oh, yeah, brother. You can do it. I think he's dreaming about All slurpees. Right. He can't All drink right. them that much. Oh, long. yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to, you're a malt liquor commercial. <laughs> oh, don't let the don't let the smooth taste. Sexy. I'm gonna oh, let yeah. Tim do the voiceovers from now on. My everything. Wow. I love St. Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> don't let the smooth taste fool you. All right, we're gonna take there, man. I know. We're gonna take a uh, quick break, <laughs> and then when we come back, we're gonna talk uh, about a thousand dollar dare. Right. Our best man uh, trolls his. Uh, the groom and a wedding, uh-huh. in the best way possible. And I, I got this commercial. You're doing a commercial? It's a commercial for furniture. Oh, that, okay. That sells to all people. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. We thought you were selling furniture. I, no. s- I saw it on the thing. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. You had the pre. He, uh, he looks. No, no, everybody I, has I, access. Don't yeah, act like I'm he has the special show prep. privileges. I look at the show. Everybody prep. has access because you're <laughs> Where's all. Where's the in, show prep? At? <laughs> it's on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I don't, don't look at that prep. shit. I just come in here and wing it. Fuck that show prep. <laughs> <laughs> so you're good at what you do. I buddy. try. I, you know, I don't need no show prep. I test. You're good at what you do. The HR department sent you know the producers send us stuff over, and I'll just run with it. There we go. We'll run with it. I made a commercial. But it's not logged into the system yet for the uh, for the comedy show. Let's play that. We'll go into our regular commercial break, and then uh, we'll come back and close out the show. All right. Saturday, September thirtieth, at the and installation. Contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? 
Does your dog or cat need some much needed attention and pampering? Money Paws, full grooming salon for dogs and cats, featuring full service dog and cat grooming, bath and brush, haircuts, nails, ears, teeth, and rear end cleanup. All done with extra love and attention. It's Muddy Paws. Schedule an appointment today at 412-207-8250. Hey, it's T.O. Double D for the Double D Show. I just wanted to take a quick second and tell you about our new friends at Pizza and Gyro Express in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. The other day I stopped in there for lunch and had the most amazing gyro hoagie and Turner's tea. It doesn't get any better than that. Plus the sandwich was huge. I almost didn't finish it. Besides their amazing pizza and gyros, they also feature a lunch buffet and a drink every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. for just $10. Go visit Visit our friends at Pizza and Gyro Express, 801 O'Neill Boulevard, and McKeesport, PA. Let loose at the hottest new after-hours club northeast of Pittsburgh. Exposure Gentlemen's Club, 288 Clearfield Pike, Catanic, PA. Enjoy complimentary drinks and our beautiful dancers every Tuesday through Saturday, 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. Admission is just $20 until 2 a.m. and $25 from 2 a.m. to close. VIP and champagne rooms available. For more details, go to clubexposure.com. Come by yourself or with a group and have the night out you deserve. We're back. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel so rushed to turn this up. Don't be rushing. Damn. I, I could listen to MWA all day. Straight yes, out sir. of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Vinny. Vinny is back. Did you find your beer? No, but, man, there's one fugly bitch downstairs, man. Really? Shit. That's a surprise. No, this thing is <laughs> <It's> Brookline. <laughs> She's a Brookline 10, Vinny. I'm going to go I'm gonna go take a look at this after we're done. Oh, Maybe man. we should see if she wants to come up. Yeah, she's a big one, too. No, fuck Play no. five no. questions with that. We'll play oh. five big questions. The big We'll play that in a while. <laughs> yeah, There's wait. your guest for the second show. <laughs> fuck her, man. She looks like she I, I called, She can sit between me and Tim. I called Brett, scared. so maybe Brett will come by. Bre- uh, Bre- Paradise City. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Trump. <laughs> So, but I was telling you about the furniture ad. Yeah. These you guys. doing the furniture the, ad? You no. Mean, I, oh, okay. <laughs> the, the these, <laughs> these guys do a furniture ad. The video I saw in show prep. That, and they, yeah. Um, yeah oh, see, yeah. Tim. <laughs> Sorry, Tim saw in show. Next week, I'll watch. Uh, oh, Todd, I love your show prep. I'm getting it. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, Todd. Get that pineapple. Oh, Todd, you look so better when you lost weight. <laughs> Only half a flop goes on my head. We don't really... Oh. <laughs> it's, it's a show lot of... It's, we prep. don't talk that much. It's, it's a lot of... Um, show me the show prep. Mind. It's uh, a lot of oral action. What we do when nobody's around is our business. Right, Tim? That's right. You're my new chubby chocolate. <laughs> You're my chubby vanilla. <laughs> I'm just getting, getting low. Oh. Oh, sorry. We'll get back on track. All Let right. me hear about your furniture ad. So here, here's the skeet, 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 skeet. We're suddenly derailed Tim. by oh, Jack <laughs> here. I started it, but it was couldn't hear. Oh, look, Vinny. Look who showed up. It's your beer. Ooh, three hours later. I was just Tim, I was we all beer. just get along at the Red House Furniture. Huh? We, we can. can. At the Red House. <laughs> I'm Richard, aka Big Head. I work at the Red House and I'm black. At the Red I like pumping iron and pumping furniture into people's homes. This is the best commercial ever. I'm Johnny, aka T Engage. I work at the Red House and I'm white. I like deer hunting, bass fishing, and extending credit to all people. <laughs> at the Red House. I'm black, and I love the Red House. I'm white, and I love the wow. Red House. I'm a black woman, and I love the Red House. I am white, and the Red House is for me. <laughs> at the Red House. This commercial is the best. <laughs> Look at the sofa. It's perfect for a black person or a white person. <laughs> this mattress is perfect for a white person or a black person. At the Red House, <laughs> where black people and white people buy furniture. And expanding people, too. 
<laughs> can't, leave, can't leave them out. Yeah. In North Carolina, High Point, North Carolina. Notice the music restarted. <laughs> what the hell? That was the the, the dude, the big head dude. I like. Can't big we all just get, get along? along? I want to hear big head. At again. The Red House Furniture. We, we can. can. At the Red House. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm do- Richard, aka Big Head. I work at the Red House and I'm black. At the Red I like pumping iron and pumping furniture <laughs> into people's homes. <laughs> at the red. I like pumping iron and pumping people's furniture. Listen, <laughs> at the Red Wow. And then the next guy looks like Dale Arnhart and he's like, uh, I'm white and I said I like <laughs> Red House furniture. I'm Chinese. I'm from the Red House. <laughs> yeah, no Chinese are welcome. I love that. That's that's good. Everybody's getting along and li- liking yeah, ferns. What's going on with the mics, man? Yeah, did you cut uh, us off? What it, yeah, I'm like real low. Oh, I turned it down for the. Uh, oh, it was cutting us all out. There we go. I thought I thought that was it. I thought it turned. <laughs> him off. Uh-huh. I cut him off. See, Timmy turned his back on. Yeah, he did. He cut me off. Listen, look at that. I used to turn <laughs> one switch down for everybody. Now I got to turn them all. If down If I got to hear about this damn board one more time, what? <laughs> I'm just not used to it. This we board, I don't know how to do this board. That's some skinny fingers, man. We need a. Uh, we need a. Producer, well, that's what we need. <laughs> we, we hire a producer. Anybody can we do, wants can you do me a favor? Can you hire a male one? Because let's face it, we can't afford no female staff around here. Sounds like you need to work at the Red House. At the <laughs> Red House. At the Red House. That, this the producer's chair is good for a white person. <laughs> or, a black, or a black person. <laughs> that should be our motto now. <laughs> the Double D Show. Hi, this is Big Mike. We're getting it. <laughs> We're getting it. All right, all right, all right. So there's this beekeeper. His name is uh, Jamie Granger. Uh, he won a, a bet from his friends. He's a, a beekeeper in New Zealand. And he uh, he sat bare-assed on a bee's nest. Okay. That's why we were talking about it earlier. We mm-hmm. can we go to GoFundMe together, and Tim can Thousand sit bucks. On, Tim will yeah. sit on a beehive. Thousand hive. bucks. For 30 seconds. How about a wow, minute? Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of time. You know what? We can get you on <laughs> America's Got Talent with that type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah, but then I got to do something after that. Huh? Well, Who we'll, cares? You can see. We'll wing it from there. <laughs> Who cares? You can see Heidi Klum half naked. Not right. Heidi Klum. What's her name? What's the blonde it's one? Heidi Klum. Yeah. Is that her? Yeah, I think yeah. that is her. Yeah. She's smoking. Uh, uh, what? The Spice Girl. Yeah, she, she's pretty hot, too. Movies are hanging yeah. out. Yeah. yeah but you, see where you know, the host of the show, RuPaul. Oh. Um no, RuPaul hosted? I thought that. Uh, one show, one show. Uh, I have no, a, it was Tyra, it's Tyra Banks, but she's so fat now, she looks like RuPaul. No, but RuPaul was on. What oh, happened, really? What yeah. happened to, uh, uh, what happened to What's-His-Face? Nick, he left. Yeah. What do, what do you do? He quit. I haven't watched it since Howard Stern. Simon so. Cow, baby. Man. Fuck him. It was, so, I don't know, he, he got mad. I like Nick Cannon. So do you want to hear what it sounds like when you, uh, this guy didn't, I mean, he must not have got stung that much, because uh, he didn't really react. He's one with the bees. He didn't react the way I thought he would. What, what kind of bees were they? Honeybees? It was or? like one of those like boxes, so I guess they uh, would be okay. honeybees. Yeah, honeybees. With the, oh, no. I don't know. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Damn. Wow. Here's, the, uh, here's the bees. <laughs> okay. 30, 30 seconds now for uh, timer. Thousand dollars. Start. Go, Jamie. Let's go, bro. Let's do it. A good sit. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Go, go, go. Go, go. go, go. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, wow. Jamie. I don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. How much? 16 now. <laughs> 16 seconds. <laughs> 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 squeeze my balls so hard, bro. Bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 15 seconds. How much? 29. 30. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd do it. A thousand bucks. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. I would do that. A thousand bucks. If, if somebody wants to donate the money, Tim and I can. We'll do, instead of George Foreman girl races, we'll do honeybee nest races. We'll, double. We'll, we'll get in contact with that. Uh, what's that chick from Channel 4 who has the honeybees? I don't know. What's her name? I can't remember. She's one, one of the is news it, anchors. Is it Jack's buddy? Is it uh, the, the weather no, chick? No, I wish. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'd be over there. Oh. I bet her Second. eyebrows oh, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even need the money. I just oh. want to be close hey, to her. I bet, uh, what's your chick's name on Channel 4? 
Ashley Dawkins. Oh my I bet God. her eyebrows are real. I uh, don't. I never even looked at her eyebrows. Honestly, I need to corn out. <laughs> <laughs> she I has need, eyebrows. <laughs> I need to corn out of her shit just to see where it came from. Oh God. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll be back. I'm gonna leave a little early. <laughs> oh. You already did that to Todd. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, still. Easy. I know where his shit comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Corral. <laughs> Tastes like uh, gravy. Oh. Uh, uh. right. It's brown sauce. Oh, man. You're talking so about her now. You about, got off her. Oh, I'm I, telling you. She's, I love her. Oh. I was telling you about the uh, best man who uh, gives Sudden a Sudden sh- derailment. <laughs> <laughs> Double D. I was telling you about the best man that gave me, uh, he gave... A uh, best man speech at a wedding. You know how like you do the toast or uh-huh. whatever. Yeah. And uh, I did I did one at Mud's wedding when I was in his wedding, and I, I said I've uh, done a couple. Were you the I, best man? I was. It was like Number co two. best man. There was two best mans because uh, my baby Vinny was going to be born at any time, so I don't I don't think uh, it was a good idea that. Uh, so it was like we didn't know, know if it was going to be. Uh, the know if I was going to be there. Okay. And. Uh, I don't know what else. So my uh, my best man's speech was, they say that you should know you shouldn't make your your uh, your speech longer than the the groom lasts in the bedroom. No. So that's my time, folks. I'm <laughs> 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 that was I don't know. It was uh, it got it got some chuckles. It got some ha yeah. That was my job. Ignorant fuck. Uh, but this this guy <laughs> took it to the next level, and um, well, I knew for never mind. Um, this guy took it to the next level, and he uh, he f- puts the guy's Pornhub history up wow. for everyone to see. And he actually had Pornhub make a video for wow. the guy. He must be on Pornhub a lot. I don't know. I mean, you got I don't think Pornhub just does that for anybody. Yeah, really. So uh, it's got to be a valued customer. Here it is. Here. <laughs> Here's the uh, some of the best man speech. It was long. I had to trim it way down. So I call it Pornhub. <laughs> Hello, Pornhub. My name's Tom. I'm, I'm best man. Yeah, I love that, that one. I'm, uh, I'm best man at a wedding in a few weeks. And my, my best friend, Daniel. Yeah, Hodgetts, that's the one. His subscription and reputation obviously preceded him. So I thought it's only fair on his wedding day, as Danny being a man of the world, that they did a video for him. Well, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, this video is from Pornhub to Daniel Hodgetts. Pornhub does the video. <laughs> nice. They hear. Put his, his search favorites up on the uh, up on the screen, <laughs> and then they offered him a. F- it's hard to hear that. Um, so what, they offered him a free uh, premium membership. So what was it like? The what do you the, get for a premium membership? At I have on? no I idea. Know. I don't know. I just take the free stuff. I never. I'm exactly never on. I'm, I'm on the site like 30 <laughs> seconds anyway. Number one, I go to Red Two. I don't know. I've never been on that one. That ain't bad. I, you gotta I mix it up sometimes. I was a porn tube guy for a while. <laughs> porn tube, and then I uh, I switched to porn hub, and uh, I don't know. I, I like them both, I guess. I was uh, I fell in a wormhole the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Squ- squirting, <laughs> squirting montages, uh. <laughs> and like I swear some of the squirting montages are fake. Straight up pissing. <laughs> like yeah, it like the one girl she like did it like like. I don't know, like four times in like a minute, uh-huh. and it was like shooting across the room. I was like, "Get the fuck out of here! That's not real." It's in my eye. <laughs> Have you ever seen a dude? I mean, if I actually had some game and could make a girl squirt, it would be like a new toy for me. I'd be like a little kid, be like, "Do it again! Do it again! Do it again!" Oh yeah, I'd be motherfuckers like, are running under it like a sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> 
Have you ever seen the ones where that dude, this is like continuous comedy, he shoots all the way across the room? Oh, yeah, the dudes? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. I was crazy. younger, I could. Now it just goes, boom, <laughs> it's the floor. Man, if you could ever come like one of them dudes. Oh. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. My, my, when my, I was like 19. Every time I see that, though, my question is, is how long have they been saving up? No. Those those got, yeah, that's like not, how long? Yeah. That's not even a real When I was 19, when I was 19, I was um, I was using... Uh, <laughs> What were you using? Canine I style. <laughs> Canine style. Okay. And I uh, and I pulled out and I went woof, and I shot it over the girl's head. <laughs> and I was like, nice. field goal. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> that was like the furthest I ever shot it, I think. Did, did it hit the wall? No, it just went over her head oh, okay. and, and landed it, in front of her. She goes, did that just land, land in front of her? You're like, me? no, you're fine. Did you ever get too <laughs> continuous? And then there was the girl that had the te- Never, I shouldn't say that. She had a tattoo of a guy, and they always try to shoot the guy with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I just stopped, just stopped talking to she, she had a guy tattooed on her. It was like an X tattooed on her body. Wow. Yeah, he's fucking around. He's going he's gonna to set up for the bacon. I tried, to, sh- I tried to give the guy a money shot, you know, <laughs> tattoo. I just. Never mind. I, just, I probably shouldn't be talking about it. Oh, boo <laughs> It's probably, it's probably oh. for the best interest of the business of Todd that I don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go. I'll be uh. Bukaki Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll be Bukaki's a circle of guys. I'm not, I only do that with Tim. That's well, true. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and the cookie. B- Ooh, Bukaki. <laughs> chugga, chugga, choo, choo, choo. And the train derails again. Choo, choo. Tim Cocky. I, I, I'm like Boo Cocky. I like Tim Cocky. That's no, right. Never mind. I got the best right. Cocky. <laughs> yeah, there were farts everywhere and toots. That doesn't even know. That's like, it's crazy. All right. That, I think <laughs> that's, that's, it, a, we're uh, done. that's a good place to end the Monday show. <laughs> <laughs> um, well done, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget September 30th, our big comedy show, Wolfie Comes Home. Woo! Headlined by Brookline's own Matt Wolfarth. Tickets are just $10. You can get them at idiotradio.net and... Five dollars from every ticket will be donated to the Brookline Teen Outreach. It's a good cause. We sell this thing out. We give them five hundred bucks. That's awesome. Yes, yes, that's, that's great. And that's, does, that, um, does that pay for your teaching desk for your? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe it will give me some new. Uh, new come new here, stuff. people. Are you guys like, gonna come? Ha- he's help? gonna be like the Mister Miyagi of. Uh, <laughs> you never know. Yeah. I might find the next Brett Paradise there. Yeah. You never know. That's true. <laughs> He can't come in the bar the for another Jack eight Splat. years. <laughs> yeah, well, they're teenagers, so they're older. I am the double D. So the, 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 pro, the project that this, the, it's like a six or eight week class. I think I think it goes six weeks, and then their final class, their final project, they get to do a live broadcast on Idiot Radio. Nice. So that's awesome. I'm giving back to the children. So does that mean we got to be PG that week or something? Well, yes. I mean, yeah. I mean. When the kids are here, what the fuck? I ain't showing up for that one. You know, you'll probably be at work. It'll be like a Wednesday. Oh yeah, I'll be at work. Fuck that. Oh, it's a Wednesday. Good. Yeah. Fuck, I can't help it. The villain cannot show on Wednesdays. Jack's Platt will not be here. But either. uh, yeah, it's I just. What time I, of day is that? Uh from five to six. Oh, I can't make it. I don't know. I gotta work. I'll be eating lunch. I'll be eating lunch. Right. <laughs> are we are we ready to get out of here? Yeah, the Bukaki master. Let's do it, Bukaki. All right, don't forget to get your tickets to the uh, comedy show. Uh, that's it. I don't know. Re- Timmy, ready to get out of here? Yeah, let's oh, go. Of course he has Timmy ready to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck are being fitting? Nothing but fucking. There, there's some uh, jealousy going on. I'm telling you. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. Goodbye. <laughs> what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response. Were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. It's the Donald D. Show.